In this video, I'll show you how to add an image to your web page and make some basic adjustments inside Expression Web 4 Microsoft's Premiere for editing software from 2012. Expression Web 4 is a pretty lackluster editor, but you can use it for amateur or more advanced editing. It hasn't had any major updates for a while, and it is only compatible with machines running Windows, so it probably won't be your first choice, but it's still a solid program for users already familiar with Microsoft Office Suite. For example, much of the font and paragraph layout is the same. You can start a new page if you want, but I'm going to open one that I've been working on. As you can see, my first view is that of what the page would look like, what Expression Web 4 calls Design View, but I can change that down here. I can split the view between design and code, or just the code. As you can see, this web page is pretty advanced, but I'd still like to add an image here of my lovely assistant. In Expression Web 4, this is an easy task. We'll just go up here and highlight the Insert drop-down menu. Here we see a few common things you could quickly add to your web page. Tags, hyperlinks, media, etc. But I don't want to do that. All I want to do is add a picture. So I'm going to highlight the picture option and select my picture from my files. First you'll see this dialog box asking you to add alternate text to your picture. This is optional, but it will make finding it easier in code view and will also give internet users a brief description of the picture if they can't find it on the browser. Now, as you can see, this image is way larger than I want. You can see the height and width in pixels here. It would be really easy to simply change those values here, but I don't want to do that. Here's a more visual way to adjust the image attributes. I'll just right click on the picture and select Picture Properties in the Appearance window. I can adjust the wrapping style. I need the picture on the left side of the text. Now I don't care about the size of the picture in pixels. I just know I need it to be about half the size it is now. So I'll just change the units to percent, then enter the values I want and hit OK. Let's see how it looks. And obviously it doesn't look right. But instead of going through all that again to find the problem, there's another way to quickly identify the problem and fix it. With the picture selected, Open the split view and check the image attributes. It looks like the width is 50% and the height is 50, but I forgot to change the units from pixels. So I'll change it to percent right here. Just click out of that line in the design window and the preview has been updated. It's important to remember that you're not actually adjusting an image in the web page. Instead, what you see is a preview of an image that's linked to your web page. Now that I've added my picture, I'm ready to see a browser preview. Let's see how it looks in Firefox. That may be a website only a mother could love, but that is how you add a picture to your web page here in Expression Web 4.